cocking your crossbow. Cocking your crossbow inaccurately is the most frequent case of inaccurate shooting. With any crossbow, if the bowstring is not perfectly centered on the string latch when cocked, it will not shoot straight. Regardless of the method you use to cock your crossbow, the string sets the safety upon cocking the bow. This is visually apparent by watching the safety move from fire, the red position, to white, the safe position. Never test your safety by pulling or preloading your trigger. If you want to test your safety, you can do so by pushing the safety knob as far as you can in the safe or white direction. It should move approximately 1 16th of an inch and then bounce back or spring back the same distance. This bounce back means the safety is engaged. If there is no bounce back, the safety is not engaged and you must re-engage it by forcefully pulling the bowstring as if you were cocking the crossbow. Do not attempt to cock ultra-narrow bow assembly models manually, such as the Storm RDX, because they are too narrow and you will pinch and potentially injure your fingers if you attempt to do so. You'll need a cocking assist such as our AccuDraw, Dead Sled 50, or Dead Sled. You can manually cock some Horton forward draw models that are not fitted with our ultra-narrow bow assemblies, such as the Legend Ultralight. To cock a crossbow manually, begin by making sure the safety knob is in the fire position. Otherwise, the string latch will not engage the bowstring and you will not be able to fire the bow. Position the foot stirrup on the ground and plant your foot firmly inside it to make sure that it will not slip out while cocking the bow. Grip the bowstring securely with all four fingers of both hands and pull it, making sure your index fingers are flush against the side of the barrel to ensure that you draw the string straight. Simultaneously, stand up and pull the bowstring inside the trigger housing's string slot until the safety sets and the string latch engages. Do not let the bowstring slip out of your grip because you could severely injure your fingers or hands. Furthermore, to prevent a dry fire, do not relax your grip on the bowstring until you've made certain that the latch is holding the bowstring securely. A dry fire could cause the limbs to break, which could result in serious personal injury. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to safe position. Always use proper lifting technique and be careful when manually cocking your crossbow because you could injure your back or shoulders if the draw weight is too much for you to handle. Various cocking aids are available that make it easier to cock, including the AccuDraw 50, Dead Sled 50, and AccuDraw, if that style of cocking mechanism is compatible with your crossbow. In addition, the Dead Sled Cocking Assist is also available for Horton Reverse Draw Crossbows. It will not reduce the draw weight when cocking the crossbow, but it does enable you to accurately cock an ultra-narrow bow assembly without the potential for finger pinch or injury. To cock the crossbow with a dead sled, start with the safety in the fire position and place your foot firmly through the stirrup. Center the dead sled on the crossbow string with its guide post resting inside the channel on the crossbow's rail. Grasp a handle in each hand and pull up until the safety sets and the string latch engages. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to safe position. Once cocked, remove the dead sled from the string. In addition, the Dead Sled 50 Cocking Assist is also available. It enables you to reduce the draw weight by 50% and accurately cock most reverse draw crossbows. To cock the crossbow with the dead sled, start with the safety in the fire position. Place your foot firmly in the stirrup. Grasp a T-handle in each hand and position the center of the dead sled 50 rope in the crossbow's cord groove behind the trigger box. Then, attach the sled to the bowstring with its guide post resting inside the channel on the crossbow's rail. Grasp a handle in each hand and pull up until the safety sets and the string latch engages. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to safe position. Once cocked, remove the dead sled 50 from the string. The AccuDraw 50 reduces the force needed to cock the bow by 50% and is compatible with the Horton forward draw crossbows, such as the Legend Ultralight. To cock your bow, start with the safety in the fire position and place your foot firmly through the stirrup. 
bend over and remove the mechanism's hooks and handles from their housing, holding the handles in the palms of your hands and the hooks between your thumbs and index fingers, with the open ends of the hooks facing up. Attach the hooks from underneath the bowstring. Press them snugly to each side of the barrel with your index fingers, while you simultaneously stand up and pull the handles until the safety sets and the string latch engages. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to safe position. Once cocked, remove the hooks from the string and turn their open ends facing outward as you retract them and the handles back toward the housing. Allow the hooks to slide into the housing holes and the handles to return to their storage position. The powerful rare earth magnets inside the T-handles will hold them in place. You should be aware that rare earth, also known as neodymium magnets, may interfere with the normal operation of pacemakers or other medical implants. Anyone with such implants should seek advice from their cardiologist. If your cardiologist advises you to avoid using magnetized handles, you can have someone remove the magnets from the handles and use male and female adhesive-backed Velcro strips or double-sided adhesive tape to keep the handles in place when not in use. The AccuDraw is a gear-assisted cocking mechanism that reduces the force needed to cock the crossbow to about six pounds. To operate it, begin by standing the crossbow on its foot stirrup. To ensure safe operation, do not place your foot inside the stirrup. If by chance the draw cords were to break while cocking the bow, the string or claw could release and injure your foot. Make sure the safety is in the fire position. Disengage the safety pawl or lever and remove the claw from its storage position. Lift it over the bow's sighting system, usually a scope, and pull it forward while positioning its string slot securely in place on the bowstring with the claw's guide ridge seated in the barrel's flight groove. Re-engage the safety pawl and insert the crank's hex socket onto the gear driver through the hole in the side of the housing. Never crank the AccuDraw without first engaging its safety pawl, because if the crank handle were to slip out of your hand, it would spin wildly, possibly causing bodily injury. The crank's hex socket also contains a small but powerful neodymium magnet which may interfere with the normal operation of pacemakers or other medical implants. Again, anyone with such implants should seek advice from their cardiologist before using the magnetized crank. If you're advised not to use a magnetized crank, contact Horton's customer service department for further advice. Turn the crank clockwise until the bowstring is about to enter the trigger housing string slot. Then, keep your eye on the trigger's safety knob when it engages or moves from the fire to safe position, stop cranking. You may also simultaneously hear or feel the safety engage and the string latch click into place. Note that it is possible to either overcrank or undercrank the mechanism. Overcranking can damage the unit and or break the draw cords, and undercranking can leave the bowstring stranded on the DFI, at which point the string will have failed to engage the safety or string latch. Once you've locked and loaded the string, so to speak, rotate the crank clockwise, approximately one quarter of an inch, or just far enough to enable you to ease the tension on the pole or lever, allowing you to disengage it. Then, reverse the crank about two and a half turns until the draw cord is no longer under tension. Continuing to unwind the mechanism more than two and a half to three turns after the string tension is relieved will damage your AccuDraw. Remove the crank. Then remove the claw from the bowstring and allow it to retract to its storage position behind the trigger housing. Never leave the claw inside the trigger box's string slot after cocking your crossbow. If you fire the crossbow with the claw inside the trigger box and still on the bowstring, it will launch the claw, possibly causing serious personal injury and or property damage. Return the claw to its storage position by pushing it down into the claw slot then rotating it forward until the claw guide slides securely into place inside the claw groove. To avoid damage, do not try to add tension to the claw string by cranking the mechanism. Finally, return the crank to its holster. Uncocking your crossbow. One of the most frequent questions we receive is, how do I uncock my crossbow if I do not take a shot? The safest way to uncock a crossbow is to shoot it using a practice arrow or a crossbow unloading bolt, such as the 10-point cub. 
It is a cost-effective single-use biodegradable unloading bolt, which decomposes in or on the ground over time after you shoot it. Do not use cubs to uncock crossbows with our RDX Reverse Draw Crossbow Bow Assembly or any crossbow with a bowstring angle when cocked that is more acute, narrower than 45 degrees. The severe string angle prevents the knock end of the cub from properly engaging the bowstring. This condition may cause a dry fire that could damage the crossbow and or injure the shooter or anyone nearby. You can also shoot an old arrow equipped with a field tip into soft rock-free dirt or sand, or you can fire it into a discharge target. Check your local regulations, however, for restrictions on field tip possession while hunting.